All right, we're here to give you the sports update you need. Let's go to Nick Lovin with hockey. Nick, Drew, what do you want to know? Well, I know my Rangers are doing pretty well. How are your Islanders doing? Well, you know, the Rangers, they played pretty well this season. They ended up in second place, they which did. puts them well into the playoffs. So the Rangers had, you know, some pretty solid uh, times this season. Of course, they did trade away their captain, yes. which sort of made for a rockier middle to end point of the season. But overall, they did remarkably well. My Islanders, not so well. They ended up in eighth place. Yeah. But you really can't blame that on a team that fell apart because of injuries. You had yeah. Tavares getting hurt in the Olympics, out for the rest of the season. He was out earlier in the season. He had a couple other injuries during the season. So the Islanders are really a team that plays well when they're mixed together. And they really fell apart. They lost a lot of their star players. They lost a lot of their manpower that they had sort of had a routine with that helped launch them into the playoffs last season. So they ended up in eighth. It was a pretty rocky season, but, you know, next season's the last year at the Coliseum. Hopefully they get uh, uh, one final good season in the Coliseum before mm -hmm. they move to the Barclays Center. But the playoff picture is now starting to become a little more clear. Teams like Boston, St. Louis, the Rangers, a, a lot of good teams, and especially a team like St. Louis that ended pretty earlier in the playoffs last year that's going to be looking for some redemption now that they're in the playoffs again. Yep. All right, and the Devils aren't good either. Let's go to oh. Cook. Cook, what do you have for us today? Thanks, Joe. I'm going to talk about golf right now. Uh, this week, the Masters is a big, is the big scene in golf. Uh, notably, Tiger Woods is not going to be in this uh, tournament this year because of his back injury. He had surgery just about 11 days ago, so he won't be able to participate. Uh, I'd say look out for Keegan Bradley and Adam Scott. I think they're going to be strong this year, and um, I'm going to take Bob Watson actually to win the to win the Masters this year. Drew. All right, Cook. Well, no one cares about the Masters, but these Tigers. All right, not. so Alan, what do you got for us today? All right, I'll be talking about basketball. Um, the Heat and the Pacers are both in a very close race to finish first in the Eastern Conference. Uh, following them, you have the Bulls in Toronto, and the third and fourth seeds battling for that. It's a really close race. And then Brooklyn is fifth. And then over in the West, you have the Spurs leading everyone with the best record in the NBA. And then you have teams like OKC and the Clippers coming behind them. So uh, the playoffs are coming, about a week left, and then uh, we should get some good basketball coming up soon. Drew? Yep, and the Knicks are horrible, still. All right, so now baseball. The Mets, shocking, guys. I mean, I don't know if they're going to be good or bad, but right now they don't look too terrible like they always do. Uh, Yankees, Pineda had an interesting night. Uh, he pitched great, but then there's been some shady allegations against him, so we'll see how those play out and if he's going to get suspended or not, and we'll hopefully have a successful season for the New York Yankees. All right, well, that's sports. For the rest of us, I'm Drew DeCarolis. Thanks for watching.